In the year 671 of the Fourth Age, the deranged king began his terrible conquest to become emperor of all the known lands of Illyria. Enslaving men, women, and children, he dispatched the ones capable of holding a sword to the far reaches of his empire to encroach upon the lands of Fortuna. But in the summer of 696, when the old had perished and the children had known no other life than war, the deranged king's reign came to an end. Stretched too thin, the occupation of Boardwall and failed invasions of the scattered lands led to prolonged resistance. The people of Zelius would no longer tolerate the cruel leadership of their tyrannical king. A coup erupted and the king was defeated. The empire fractured and plunged into years of chaos. After the fall, the tribes of the scattered lands that had banded together became the current day kingdom of Vornair. The region that once housed the grandest and most elegant parts of Zelius were consumed by what is now the Kingdom of Kairos. The Kingdom of Fortuna proved its namesake, and the area sprang back into health, while Boardwall vowed to never again be occupied. And finally, a third of the former Empire of Zelius was left in chaos, devoid of leadership with the previous nobility and aristocracy cast out of the Empire. But rather than wither and die, a new government arose, a kingdom composed of free people who shared nothing more in common than their desire to live in a world without tyranny and oppression. They would be the free kingdom of Illyria. They could be you. The North American East server known as Luna is a competitive landscape with powerful nobility and influential aristocracy, but one kingdom remains unclaimed. To ensure that the last kingdom slot goes to an equally powerful player, we're running an election of sorts. From now until December 31st at midnight Pacific time, players can go online and purchase kingdom tokens from our online store and either claim them for themselves or give them to others. After the event ends, we'll tally up the tokens and award the following prizes. First place, will receive a modified monarch package so they can rule the free kingdom until fate deems them unworthy. The next six token winners will receive modified royalty packages so they can rule as a duchy within the free kingdom. And the following 144 winners will receive a modified courtier package so they can govern a county within the free kingdom. But electing new leaders isn't the only benefit to purchasing kingdom tokens. Each token you purchase awards the purchaser 100 EP, the same as a standard EP item in our store. And if you gift the token to another player, at the end of the event, the player will receive an additional 50 EP for every token they receive. Chronicles of Valyria is a player-centric game, and the players in our community are already helping us to write the lore and history as they build alliances, organizations, and friendships in the community. I'm Barnabas Thelonicus Aetirion Bombastus, Duke of the Freehold Duchy of Zilfania of the Kingdom of Vornair. Hi everybody, I'm Holenda. I'm Deleatherus, and I'm the monarch of the Kingdom of Boardwall on the NAE server. Hi everyone, I'm Violet, also known as Violet Winterborn. I was really drawn in by the uniqueness of this game and the ability to create not just a character, but a dynasty in an ever-changing world. I really was drawn into the community itself because of all the positive players and the positive feedback and um, all the interest in creating things for the game. You should push to be what you want to be in the community. If you want to be that leader and you want to grow your community, this is a great opportunity to do that. Get involved. COE is going to define a whole new genre of MMO. And we, the players, we've got this amazing and unique chance and opportunity to help build and shape the actual in-game world and its communities in ways that no other studio that I'm aware of when creating an MMO of this size has ever allowed its player community to do. I feel that it's possible that a monarch that is charismatic and sociable uh, will be able to win this event versus just one person who has very deep pockets. The great thing about this contest is anybody can participate and you should participate because it means that um, you can jump in and really engage in the dance of dynasties and show your stuff and prove that you've got what it takes and it doesn't take uh, a big wallet to get there. It just takes a lot of support from a lot of people and I think that that's a really exciting opportunity. Even verbal support I'm sure would help out a long way 
just knowing that others have the same ideals or support the ideals of the people that are running. So join the COE community and not just witness what's going on, but be an actual active participant in the creation of epic gaming history. You should campaign for the free kingdom. You should take your chance to seize the reins of power now because this opportunity isn't going to come again for North America East. And we really want to get the best people and the best minds involved in building this world. And um, now's your chance. To participate, head to chroniclesofillyria.com now and purchase a pledge package if you don't already have one. And once you do, you can purchase and gift kingdom tokens to one another to help shape the landscape of the North America East server. And if you're an aspiring courtier, royal, or monarch, then go ahead and head to the forums now. Post in the Luna domain server and let people know what you're up to. The campaigning has already begun, so good luck and have fun.